David. Alex. <laughs> West. And this is Wizards, Wizards in, in the, the basement. basement, episode eight. Yeah, that's what it is. Behold our our beloved guest once again, but this time he's not tipsy. And we got a new guest. Yay! Today's movie, we're going to briefly discuss about Chappie. Yes, we uh, we just uh, finished watching the movie Chappie, and it was definitely no Jupiter ascending. Thank God. You didn't have to strangle anyone this time. True that. Hell yeah. Thank you. My expectation was, I think it was going to be an enjoyable. What? Enjoyable experience. Sure, I want to do a little flaws, but it actually beat my expectation this time. Thank goodness. And what about you guys? I, I love Chappie. I mean, I, I, I didn't think it was going to be like that dramatic. Mm -hmm. You guys can see, see what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was going to be way funnier than it was. True. They were setting it up that way. Definitely yeah. on the trailer. I was actually expecting it to be more serious because Elysium and District 9 were like very, very serious movies. So That's what I, I, thought, thought, too. I thought this one was a lot lighter. In, in its it kind of was. It was. Yeah, the characters were a lot less serious, in my opinion. They all had like crazy children. The best part about this movie was Chappie the robot. Uh, all, I, I felt like I couldn't really relate to any of the human characters at all, and I know that they did that on purpose. This movie probably wouldn't have done well without Chappie in it. Let's just yeah. agree to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because all of the human characters are crazy <laughs> South African violent cartoon characters. That's what they feel like. They, they, they remind me a lot of some of the characters from those other movies, you know, the like, especially the criminals. Oh the, yeah, the, the criminals the, the are crazy. Members, they're always in, completely insane. Yeah, definitely. In the end, it felt like Chappie was the most adult character. Uh, when I saw the trailer, it was kind of, I want to say it was like almost a year ago now, mm -hmm. when I was watching it, and it's from Neil Blomkamp, director of Just Nine. So I, I thought, like Alex, that it was going to be all action-packed, and then, uh, I think they had revised trailers later on, as they had more footage, obviously, and I thought it would be more like what you were expecting, where lighthearted, and so it was like a compromise between both, but I don't know. I wish it would kind of lean one way or the other more. Like, I loved the battle scenes in the beginning, and towards the end there, but I just wish there were more of that, or more, like, build up on how Chappie became, I don't know, adapting to sentient-ness. Uh, yeah, he grew up, like, in a movie, like, it seems like he was, grow like, kind of slow growing for a second, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a little baby. Awesome. And then he just grew up really fast. All After they started teaching him the gangsta shit, that's when he really started to pick up his, you know, knowledge. And then all of a sudden he can transfer people's Chi or their souls yeah, into robot bodies. It was just like this big uh, revolutionary, I mean, reality bending experience that they just kind of, you know, subtly eased you into. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to uh, give our uh, uh, review and recommendation, recommendation and review, whatever you want to do in that order. Let's start with you. All right. I'm going to say, let me give it a 7 out of 10. Um, uh, I think the performances were pretty solid. It wasn't like, you know, big, oh my god, and the award uh, winning, but, uh, you know, it wasn't bad. But, uh, Charlotte, 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 whatever his name Wickes is. Wickes Von, whatever his name is. Yeah, Wickes. Yeah, Wickes. From Rudy Shree Dime. Uh, great job as, uh, as, as Chappie. Definitely. Right. Seven That's it? That's it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No more, no yeah. more rants? If, it's, if uh, <laughs> the VFX were pretty good. Yeah, the CG in his movies, I was telling Wes earlier, really, like, it blends well. Some of the best compositing I've ever seen in movies, in, movies in, in um, Neil Blomkamp's uh, movies. Oh, yeah. Really okay. well done. Makes uh, it all seem believable. Some of the stories and ideas, uh, I thought the story itself was interesting. Uh, some of the ideas they presented were, uh, were kind of cool and interesting. Uh, I just feel like I've seen that. Oh, yeah. seen all, we've seen it all. We've seen it all before. Seen it all before. Yeah, um, this, you know, it's nothing new in terms of its plot, the story, uh, all of their ideas. Um, but you know, it's it's Neil Blomkamp's uh, take on it, and 
Yeah, did a good job of that. I will agree with your rating. I will give this movie a 7 out of 10. And please go see this movie. And don't pay attention to uh, all the uh, negative reviews for this movie. They're really low. I don't, I don't know, know what why. The fuck they're, yeah, it's, they're actually, they're they say about. it's a mix. Yeah. Well, I mean, what is it? Rotten Tomatoes is like 38% right now. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to check it had a 40 Ooh, okay. score. One more thing I wanted to add. I was surprised, I went from surprised to pissed off to okay that D and Wood is, are the main characters literally to the movie. Those are the two uh, South African main characters, the chick and the dude, oh. the crazy, yeah. yeah. The, uh, what were their names again? Ninja and Yolandi. Ninja and Yolandi. Yolandi. And they did a pretty good job for their they first did. time on the screen. I know. Screen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they've had a lot of experience being in the music industry and making those obscure videos. I guess you there, but they did a great, they did a great job. I, I, I hope to see them again sometime soon. Yeah, that'd be awesome to see them in more gangster movies. Like, they like really need the They're real musicians. Yeah, yeah. Musician. Yeah. music was playing. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, her name is. They're. There's the actual. The, name, the, the names what's of their what's characters what's in the movie are their real names in real life. Oh, wow. Yolandi is the girl's name, and Ninja is the dude's name. Are they supposed to be like fictional versions of them? Yeah. Har barely. Yeah. I would say I actually give this movie. A oh, one <laughs> out of. Ten. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, <laughs> that, that was super Sydney. But for this one, I actually gave this a solid performance of seven out of ten. I know it's kind of considered some parts in there is unoriginal, which we've seen. Even people even go as far as calling this the modern day version of Short Circuit. <laughs> You are Chappie. Chappie. <laughs> it's like a child that has to learn. What's that? Chappie's book? Yeah, it's yours. Chappie's got stories. Chappie's got a book. However, I would say this one is actually pretty well done. The guy who plays Chappie, the robot, great performance on his part. The, get the maker, I would say he did all right. Mm -hmm. Seeing it new uh, faces like Ninja and... Yolandi? Yeah, thank you. I know they're- They acted they, decently. I know, surprisingly. Yeah. It's good to, you know, see new faces instead of just the same old same old. True. My bodyguard helped me get through the ball. Me a bone cops making me a movie star. I think you guys made a lot of good points about this movie. Honestly, I agree with Alex and pretty much all of you guys at 7 out of 10. i definitely give that a 7 out of 10. If I could go lower, it would be a 6.5, but... I don't have anything that critical to say other than like, yeah, everything you guys already said. So, me being the last one on this line, I yes. don't think I have anything too new to say. Seven out of 10 for me though. I kind of want to give it a higher score. Eight seems like too high though. Yeah. But six seems too low, so. Yeah. There's a lot of things we liked about yeah. the movie. Things we liked the least about the movie. Dude, how about Hugh Jackman in those shorts? <laughs> that it was so hard to take him serious <laughs> as a tough guy. Yeah. Look that haircut too. <laughs> hey guys. Man, Hugh Jackman's good at making me not like him. <laughs> as an actor. Oh, I can't I don't know about him as a person. My oh, god, he's so overplayed. Yeah, he is. He I'm is. Tired he's, of him. It's, he's literally like just he's Wolverine and then a douche. Like, he, and that's all he can do, really. One thing I'm sick of seeing, Wes, is the... Hugh Jackman? Similar style that <laughs> oh, Neil Jack does every, every movie. The similar style? Well, like, like he has to use, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired of that. I want to see less like news stuff. Oh. I just want to be thrown into the world without seeing all this fake news shit. I'm kind of tired of that. Yeah. It, it, That's kind of I, I felt like it was, that was that. not very consistent. Because they, no. they, they, they it opens up as a documentary. No. And then, it's, I and then we see and, and then we see Anderson Cooper for that. two minutes and explaining then the shit. rest of it's like a traditional kind of narrative style of filmmaking. Yep. I'm Tony. And I'm Tim. I'm David. I'm Alex. And I'm Zagumi Reaver. And you don't usually say tune in next time. And so. tune in next time for another exciting episode of Wizards, Wizards in, in the, the Basement! basement. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>